Ah, oh, this is a proper adventure, heroes. Somewhere I've never been before. Into a wilderness I've never even seen. I like it. An awful lot of these people in the villages have probably lived in the same village for over a thousand years. And even when they were sort of moved into the cities and in flats and things, a lot of them ultimately would have kept their village house as a place to go to at weekends. So where I'm living now, the house, that little tiny green building next to me, there's a family that come out every Saturday and tend the garden. And the old lady there, her great grandmother was born there in 1860. So before the communists said, no, right, you need to move into a flat in the city. This is a ridiculous way for you to be living with too primitive. That would have been their home, but they still go there at the weekends. There's just a certain logic to, isn't it a bit better to live in a heated, insulated flat than a drafty cottage, you know? Yeah. Okay, and after spending a brief time sorting out my camera, they're all over there. Just to go that way to the spring this way. That one says on Sered, so that way to Sered. And this one says Bereg Frashtak. So Bereg's our little settlement, and then Frashtak is a very, very old fashioned name for a whole of us. Oh, cool. Probably back in the old empire when it would have been Frashtak. Say that again. Well, there would have been a time in all of Central Europe with the Austro Hungarian Empire. Um, they would have, every, most things would have been ruled by Germans and Hungarians. So, place names would mostly have been given by Germans to Germans. Yeah. What was that name you used? Freistag would be like from the German for Friday. So, lots of towns had names that indicated the day of which upon their market was held or something or other, you know? Alright, I see. Maybe the language has changed. I definitely got to a point where suddenly I realised how the place names work and I could put them together and I realised that one town was not called Novi Zamki but was in fact called Newcastle. <laughs> and a town not so far away called Bieli Costellani was in fact Whitechurch. And you realise that actually place names tend to be pretty much the same everywhere, you know? Hmm. Sammy, what's, what's this about? What's this about? says even under black skies there's good water basically. Wow. Like the sky could be black but the water's good basically. Is that from there is it? Yeah. Is that from there? Well here, you could read it two ways. The word black is the same as the word devil. So you could read it as the devil's good water or of black skies good water you know. Mm. I uh it's like most of the yellow signs that UI puts up are like puns, mm. you know? So they're, they're all designed to read two ways and puns in a foreign language are pretty challenging, you know? I'd uh, consider yeah, myself... So this is why I used to have to come for all my water. Oh, you absolute so I used to star, come with big you, jerry cans and I'd have to haul them back in like a rucksack on like a little trolley and mm. made me look pretty... Obviously it was the kind of thing that sort of, at the moment the house is actually pretty habitable compared with the days when I'd be like, right guys, everybody gonna grab a can, we must go and gather water, you know? Thank you. That was awesome. Wow, that was really refreshing. That was so cold. Oh, that was Basically, lovely. somewhere He's coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> He's coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> yeah, you saw it here first. That's fucking Santa Claus. Crazy, right? I woke up today and had shots with Santa. I'm really quite drunk right now. It's good times. Now we're about to walk for like an hour and a half to Holovec. It's going to be fun. Wait a minute, where's Sam? Sam's going to get his phone because he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Seriously, look, it's fucking Santa Claus. Don't hurt me. <laughs> I think he's actually going to fucking kill me. But I legit woke up this morning and was having fucking shots of vodka, uh, vodka with Santa Claus. It was pretty awesome, actually. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I, I had a great time. I think he's gonna kill me, though. I actually think Santa Claus is gonna fucking kill me. Hey, it's a good way to go, I guess. You know, how many people can say, yeah, I got killed by Santa Claus? Right? What? What? Oh. They are quite hard to translate because they're usually puns about language and things. Yeah. There is a memorial tree in the year 1713. Yunoshik was not hung from this tree. Who? Yunoshik was a famous sort of Robin Hood bandit character who was famously hung from a tree, but wow. just not this one. <laughs> <laughs> After you, darling. Ah. You okay, Santa? This says beyond here it's not suitable for 15 year olds because on the other side of this tree is a portrait of the most devastating predator on earth. What? picture of the most devastating predator on earth. 
Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Sam? No, it's Santa, see? You know. <laughs> it's Santa, see? There you go. This is a black honey and badge. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Check that out. New badge. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. It says if you wait five minutes, Aragog will be here. Aragog. What? Okay, we're leaving now. We're, we're leaving now.